Yo, what's up? Starting today, we have a minivan going on again. And this one is possibly the comfiest ever since the tasks are absolutely easy. And the prices are quite nice. Now, the, the reason why we have this event is that today is the birthday of one of the Soviet Union's most famous weapon designers. Specifically, the one who designed the PPSH, which was produced over 6 million times, which is ridiculously high. Also, definitely the most iconic Soviet weapon of World War II. And the main prizes for the event are a sword for a weapon for a nation of your choice. You can get one sword exactly in this event. After completing six any six of these tasks, and after completing eight, you get the Soviet assaulter portrait holding the famous PBSH in very pristine condition. Now the tasks are for the first two days. Kill 40 enemies with an SMG, kill 60 enemies, and complete 4 battles. You, they can all be done at the same time, so killing four, getting 40 SMG kills will also give you instantly 40 normal kills for the second task. And you have 2 days for every single stage. The second stage needs you to kill 60 enemies with an SMG, so 50% more. Needs you to kill 6 enemies with a melee weapon, this isn't hard. Just grab any any bayoneted weapon or grab grab an axe or a sword if you have, especially easy if you're Japanese, or literally just sneak around and start stabbing enemies with your with your knife. It's it's that easy. Also knives have the fastest attack speed overall. And even though they don't have the reach or the high damage, if you give your soldiers four of the yellow melee damage and melee attack speed perks. Knives become absolutely deadly too, and even lots of fun to just run around and stab people in a tight corridor or a tight building. And complete 6 battles, and the last stage wants you to kill 120 enemies, and your rally point to be used 30 times, including APCs. This, if you're focusing on it, if you're playing hard support in a game, it will take you roughly one game. More, two games at most if you're playing normally. <clears throat> Make sure though that you don't sit around in a vehicle all the time because otherwise, yeah, it won't work. No APCs can count. It gets extra easy if you have two APCs in one army because then you can just take APCs non stop basically and then you will in instantly get all this 30 clicks, uh, this 30 ticks in one game. And kill 60 enemies with an SMG again as on the second stage. Yeah, all of these tasks are very easy to do. They're very easy to do. You don't need to get out of your way. Literally, the hardest thing you have to do is to play six battles. And this is the reason, arguably, why the second stage is even harder than the third stage. So yeah, very nice, comfy event mode. These mini events are, in general, are much more fun than the big events, because the big events usually come with too much stress and too many people complaining and bitching, oh no, I'm gonna miss this and this out. Here's my personal approach. When there's something I absolutely want, I make sure I play exactly enough to get the main prizes, and then I just don't play. And if there's something I don't really care about, I don't even care. I don't even put any time or effort into the events. For example, the Assault Engineer event, I made sure I get both Assault Engineers, and the rest I didn't care about. Uh, but the event before that, I forgot which one it was, I basically didn't play at all. Maybe like 30-40% of the time. Because the prices weren't that good. Here I recommend everyone to get the sword. Sword is... I, I recommend everyone to get everything here since it's very easy to get and the prices are quite nice. You get a couple thousand silver. You get appearance change orders. Lots of them. And you get a weapon upgrade order. Ironically enough, you don't get a PPSH. It would be cool. It, it should have been done, by the way, to give everyone a PPSH if he gets all nine tasks done. That's basically a no-brainer. But Darkflow has some issues understanding how people work and how, similar to Mark Zuckerberg who also has problems understanding how humans work. So yeah, <laughs> this is the, at least he studied psychology. At Darkflow, I, I guess no one understands even basic psychology. So yeah, but still you can use it on any weapon. Of course on the last stage, don't use it on cheap weapons, only on very ex expensive weapons on the last stage. So you can save up to 8000 silver in upgrade costs. Alright, that's it. Very comfy event. I'm gonna play definitely. Gonna make sure I get everything done and get more sabers for the saber collection. Sabers are the only thing I really collect in Enlisted since they are the only thing that 
really make me horny to collect stuff since they are quite rare and they are very functional and they look very cool so yeah this is exactly what i would pay lots of money for in the game if you had more types of fancy sabers cool looking sabers especially ones that give you some additional bonuses so yeah really cool and for the second part of this video let's discuss some funny thing i have noticed recently and i'm obviously not the first person to notice that it's common sense but it's still fine to talk about it at least for the first time here on this channel and it's the the mental state of redditors <laughs> here's the funny thing reddit is known for having some of the most stupid people on this planet voicing their opinions and this is especially true if it's on everyday topics where people wrongly assume they have like good opinions because but most of the time people just as pull their opinions about things in life and don't even think about it as the old saying goes a smart person thinks and then talks and very often the smart person comes to the conclusion it just doesn't make any sense to talk at all here i just leave this bullshit stupid people they don't think they get emotional they turn into monkeys and start talking or or throwing turd at you so this is the similar thing that happened in Reddit. Well, it happens constantly. It happens constantly, which is also the reason I basically don't uh, interact on the enlisted Reddit, only for posting some spicy shorts to make it fun. Since I noticed when I was active there myself and I started playing the game, I hoped for some cool posts, for informative posts, interesting posts, and I noticed, wait, but, but this, the information content is basically zero. You can argue it's negative because most things told there are wrong or stupid. And if you're a new player, you actually get hurt more than, 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 you, than you actually get help. <laughs> and it's toxic as fuck. It's so highly retarded toxic, it doesn't get even worse. So in order to avoid this, but still get all of my beginner noob questions answered, I just started asking players who are respectable. Respectable in terms of how they behave as humans. And inevitably also how good they understand how well they understand the game because people who are good humans usually do things well in life and they don't become idiots <laughs> but people who show retarded behavior they also usually don't understand things and this is my general advice especially if you're new the older people are well the, the older players know that already by themselves don't expect good comfy social environment on social media where you have lots of randoms running around posting their bullshit. Especially not if it's an environment where you have nerds without life, who just who don't have anything else going on in life, and who are depressed, and who have victim mentality, and who think that, oh, the world is bad, and I'm a victim, and I'm right, therefore, and I can say everything I want because the others were mean to me. Yeah, this is exactly how you produce, how you get your... Jeffrey Dahmer's in the, in the world and yep yeah, you don't want to hang out there too much so I personally decided to to brighten the mood there has been post funny stuff literally the only good thing that the listed reddit is good for is people posting some funny clips recently someone posted a clip I don't know who well you can search it up he was driving a motorcycle basically the worst squad in the game and he said something like, wait for it. And I thought, all right, let's click on it. And I was clicking and waiting. And he was driving around. And I was already impressed because he was driving around, around insanely fast. And everyone who used the motorcycles and listed knows they are super hard to control. And he was driving around for like 15 seconds and nothing happened. And I thought he's going to drive over someone. And I was waiting for it because I would be ridiculously impressed if he managed to actually hit someone or even a group of soldiers at that speed and not accidentally just fly out of a curve what he did instead he drove into a tank one second before he crashed he jumped out and <laughs> basically perfectly timed while crashing into the tank he activated the DET charge that was on the motorcycle and the tank exploded now that was fucking cool and this is exactly what 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 social media is for to share cool things with other people that they usually wouldn't see because well i definitely wouldn't see something playing myself uh, play something like that and to 
make people have more fun in life and to create a nice social comfy environment so exactly the opposite of what's actually going on so yeah that's a funny experience now the reason i make this entry is quite funny yesterday i released the flame tank video one day earlier i released a short which is also the intro clip from the tank a flame tank video where I'm driving around uh, Flampanzer 2 on the Fortified District Eastern Front Moscow map, one of the best maps in the game. Strongly recommend everyone to play that map, it's super fun. You, you can access it by playing low BR Germans or Soviets. And the first objective is defended by a trench system, a very, very long line of trench in the center, and some more trenches on the far flanks, though most people don't even get there. And the center point of the map has a concrete bunker. And the bunker is straight in front of the trench opening. And out of experience I can tell you, when you start the game as infantry attacker, you call an artillery strike on the point behind the, behind the bunker in the trench and you get 10 to 20 kills. If you spawn in a tank, you, you shoot two 3HE shells, you also get 10 to 20 kills. Now, obviously trying out. The flame tank for the first time ever on this map. I was thinking, well, maybe it could work. What? Maybe if you actually shoot the flames above the trench, since you won't be able to shoot inside. Maybe the physics work out in a way that the flames still drop down. And guess what? It worked. <laughs> I flanked hard right, then slightly from behind and, and placed myself next, straight next to the trench and started shooting over the trench, slightly inside the trench, and after 2 seconds, 21, 22 enemies died. And it was ridiculously strong, much stronger than I expected. And I called the video something with flame tank versus trench campus. And here's the funny part. This is obviously an ironic title. Because, well, what are do people doing in trenches camping? But, oh no, I forgot. This is the internet, so people don't fucking understand irony. <laughs> well, if, if people consume too many stupid people on social media, they are used to stupid, well, conversation types. So I guess people, yeah, but for example, I don't have any issues identifying irony, because most people, the few people I actually watch myself on social media, they, well, they, they talk like smart people. <laughs> And they have a vast array of human conversation skills. And then it's not, not a problem. But yeah, I guess spending less time on TikTok and reading less bullshit from randoms on the internet is, is, is a good way to clear out one's mind from stupidity and get used to, to higher, higher standards. But this isn't where the problems stop. This is only where they start. Because on, on YouTube, where the I noticed the... YouTube, the people interacting on YouTube are quite wholesome. Like people basically don't want any stress on YouTube because on YouTube the algorithms prevent you from posting toxic bullshit. They pre like I have quite soft filters because I don't want uh, people posting my videos to be censored. So people can even write more on my videos than they can write among basically all the other videos. But still, if someone writes completely out of the world toxicity, he's going to be automatically uh, blocked and banned by the algorithms. This isn't the case in Reddit. In Reddit, you can write all the toxicity you want, as long as it's conform with what's politically wanted in this specific uh, Reddit forum. And this is exactly how you escalate toxicity to 1000. <laughs> Because this is a self-sorting mechanism. It's like an algorithm that filters out the most toxic people you can find on the internet and concentrates them in these little for uh, Reddit forums. <laughs> and then they start spreading their toxicity. And it's also obviously an echo chamber where the, all, the same bullshit is repeated all over again. And after spending a couple of weeks in such an environment, people think that behaving like that or talking bullshit like that is normal. And also, one of the re conclusions, people think being retarded is normal and not thinking is normal. Because here's the thing, on YouTube this video was liked quite a lot. On Reddit, it was disliked hard. Now, well, that, not that it matters, but it's a very good measure, uh, measurement of the, of the mental state of the people there. Because 
there were like dozens of comments about, oh, how dare you? Yeah, people turn into straight graters there. How dare I call people bravely defending a trench campus? <laughs> Now, first of all, not a single one of them passed the idiot test of understanding the irony and the humor, all right? And the second part is... <laughs> all right, here's a little lesson in historical accuracy for people who apparently play shooting games for years. I'm quite sure most people here played shooting games longer than I did, because I literally started playing Enlisted two years ago, and before that I barely played any shooting games ever in my life. If you are if you're a defender in a trench, you and the trench is big, and there are only big trenches, no one's gonna build a little trench because a little trench is literally a trap. <laughs> yeah. So trenches are always built wide. And the trenches you see in the list they are already relative to real life trenches very small. Yeah? So okay, let's take a normal enlisted trench like the one in Fortify District. If you are a soldier and and your sergeant sees 20 soldiers clustered around one point, like they're trying to do an orgy, you're gonna get fucking court-martialed for that. You better believe that. No one with even an IQ of above 60 would cluster himself around other infantrists at one little point in a trench if the trench is fucking 10-20 meters more to the left and right. Trenches are you, are the purpose of a trench is to give as many soldiers as possible defense and to cover a wide area as possible. For that purpose, to be active, you need to spread out the trench. It's the most retarded and historically and also realistically unrealistic thing to do if, 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 if dozens of people stand around one point. This is not defending a trench, this is being profoundly retarded. This being a certified idiot, <laughs> and this is not how you survive wars. This is literally how you instantly die in a war, by being so fucking stupid. So, these people on the internet, who, uh, who obviously, as we noticed before, don't think before talking, instead just whine and bitch and complain, and uh, post the same thing that dozens of other people already posted, because, look, a smart person won't waste his time posting the same thing someone else posted. For example, when I see a YouTube video and I see something interesting and I want to point it out or ask a question, first thing I do, I check whether someone else wrote or asked that question. I don't spam the same bullshit someone else spammed. This is basic etiquette. Because you don't. if you expect someone who has thousands of views or big channels, millions of views, to read through all of that, you don't spam the same question twice. Because this is how you double, triple and so on the amount of questions that the person has to read, which obviously just leads to the person not reading this thing at all. So, this is the thing. I noticed for World War II game, where you would expect people be interested in history, and interest in history doesn't mean you, oh, I'm interested, no, it means you research history, so you learn history. I expected much higher standards. I expected people at least to know that, how a trench works. <laughs> I mean, that's, you, you learned that in kindergarten. If you, if you dig a tunnel, you, your five children aren't standing on one point. They spread out the tunnel, so everyone has enough pl place to play and explore the sand. Yeah? Even kindergarten children understand how to use a trench, but apparently enlisted predators don't. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think about this funny observation and how your experiences are. On the, on the topic of Redditors. And until next time, goodbye.